At times of pain and distress, patients can feel anxious and even helpless. And what can make matters worse is when their wishes about their own care are not heard or understood. Coordinate My Care is a service that is putting patient choice at the heart of healthcare. It connects healthcare teams 24-7 whilst also delivering cost benefits to the NHS. It starts with a conversation. The GP is there to help, but it is the patient who is in control. The Coordinate My Care or CMC plan is designed to make sure their wishes are heard. Originally created for patients with life-limiting illnesses, they're now available for anybody who has urgent care needs. Once consent is given, almost any information that will be required in an urgent care setting can be added. It gives them a sense of security that they know that should they reach a place where they cannot inform people as to what they want to happen, that they know that their wishes are going to be carried out. It actually takes the pressure off the families and the carers because uh, they've already got a, a plan set up as to what the patient actually wishes. Hello, you through to NHS for my mum. My name is Beverly. I'm a nurse here. Can I the information is shared with all urgent care providers. I understand you've got a care plan in place. I can see one here on my screen. Can I access that? So if a call comes into 111, all the essential information is there, helping operators make the right decisions. The decisions that patients themselves have been part of making. What I'm going to do is contact your district nurse for you to come round and see you. Is that all right? Crucially, it also means patients no longer have to repeat their story every time they make a call, which often causes additional stress and frustration. The clinician will be able to receive the call directly and access uh, the record and see that there's a care plan. They'll be able to inform the patient that they can see the care plan and be able to follow the advice and see the diagnosis and treatment that's specific for that patient. If someone calls for a 999 emergency response, staff taking that call can immediately see if a patient has a CMC plan. That can inform a decision whether to send an ambulance or not, but if a crew is dispatched, they too remain in the CMC loop. Crucially, these urgent care plans are all available on the mobile phone. That means all ambulance staff can look and immediately see whether a patient wants to be rushed to hospital and taken to intensive care or simply kept at home and made comfortable. David Whitmore has been a paramedic for more than 30 years and is now a senior clinical advisor at the London Ambulance Service. The Coordinate by Care plans have radically changed the way patients are treated. It's been a paradigm shift for, for our staff because beforehand where we weren't sure what the care plan was, our only course of action may well have been going back to hospital, which quite often is not the correct thing for these patients. Um, so it has changed the way in which we, we deal with these patients for the better. So it does mean we're giving them the treatment they, they need and quite often that treatment is in the patient's home. This has long been the goal for Professor Julia Riley. She's a consultant in palliative medicine and clinical lead for Coordinate My Care. It works by integrating care around the patient. So the patient is in the middle and the patient makes their choices and with their clinician decides what their urgent care should look like and then Coordinate My Care is a clinical service that coordinates the care around them. And it's designed for the two-thirds of the week when patients own GPs and staff between nine and five are not around. So nine and five they're covered, but the rest of the week they're not. So this is a clinical service that supports patients virtually to deliver the care that they need. One unintentional side effect for the NHS is that Coordinate My Care is saving it a lot of money. But patient care has always come first. 25,000 have already been helped in London. But if rolled out across England, it's estimated half a million people could benefit.